We are here at Indian Motorcycle of Savannah taking a look at the new 2020 Indian Challenger. Many of you have asked about it, so here it is. We're going to take a test ride today, but first we're going to talk to Bob, who is the GM operating partner. And, and apparently he's the, the director of chaos. Director of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> so He was nice enough to let us come in and film and talk about the specs. So we are excited to jump into it and show you this awesome new bike. Mm -hmm. Challenger is a big hot topic right now with its big old liquid cooled 108 cubic inch engine, but we're gonna get into that. So you guys know that we love our Indian motorcycle Lucille, but are we gonna trade? You know we love the big bagger with the full dresser and, and the really trunk. really it's, it's comfort for me. Yeah. Lucille's not going anywhere. Lucille's around to stay. Not saying we won't upgrade her at some point. We're gonna to try to go over this bike from nose to tail, but we're gonna break it into sections. We're gonna go over the engine and frame and suspension, as well as the new body on this thing, the headlights, all the cool stuff. A lot of cool electronics on this thing too we're gonna cover. So let's talk about the specs so we can go for a ride. Let's do it. Come on over Bob. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> all right guys, so this is Bob. As we said, he is the <laughs> the GM and operating partner of this location. And by the way, this location is Indian Motorcycle of Savannah. It's a really nice Indian shop. We've been to quite a few across the country and they vary. Some are more Polaris with a little tiny bit of Indian in it, but this is a full-blown Indian shop. They have all kinds of cool gear. In fact, I've got some Indian of Savannah gear yeah. that you've probably seen in our videos. Because yeah. <laughs> we were here last year. <laughs> all right. So let's talk obviously about the, the big thing here, the engine. We're excited about this bike. I mean, this, this is the hottest bike on the planet right now. And uh, the response has been great. It's the Power Plus V-Twin liquid-cooled. 122 horsepower and 138 foot-pounds of torque. That's sweet. It looks like they've kind of blended the look of the engine between the Scout and the 111. With the liquid cooled, you don't have to have all the fins and stuff on the engine. Right, and it is. I think there's a little bit of a blend of uh, some of the, the Scout stylings to mm -hmm. the bike. The gas tank, to me, looks like a little bit of a stretched out Scout tank. It's, it's, it's huge. huge. <laughs> it's huge. That's the first thing I noticed when I, I sat on this thing, is it's like I've got this giant tank in front of me. One thing I think that's cool about this liquid cooled is a lot of the liquid cooled engines you see, particularly on other bikes is the radiator seems to just kind of take over the whole front of the bike. This is very inconspicuous. It's there, but it's not like, bam, I'm a radiator. We've, we've had to point it out to a couple of people. I mean, it, <laughs> yeah. it does, it, it blends aesthetically wonderfully with the bike. It's beautiful and it's badass. <laughs> Johnny it's most, Cash badass. mostly badass. <laughs> Johnny Cash badass, that's right. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be very careful. Scratch it, you buy it. Don't scratch it on purpose. <laughs> I noticed when I was looking online at the accessories, they do offer mid-rise handlebar with these also. We've got the bars in, we've got a lot of the accessories in for the bike. Does that bring it up to about here, you think? Uh, probably put your hands on top of the mirrors, it's gonna be very, very similar. Yeah. Maybe back just a hair, but about that height. Yeah, that's about, that's about where I like them. Does it feel bigger? When you sit on it, it looks like you're gonna have to stretch, but the, the handlebars are far enough back. You can reach all of this fine. You don't feel like you're stretching? Because it looks like you are a little bit. No, not at all. You know me, I like, I kind of ride like this a little bit because yeah. I'm used to the backrest and my, yeah. my handlebars are a little bit further back. There's both a passenger and driver backrest as well as a full sissy bar, which it comes up higher further on the back. So, For a sissy like me. Yeah. So obvious big difference between this and our Roadmaster is there's no trunk, which means there's no big comfy recliner for Terra, right? That's right. <laughs> I'm just so used to being able to just sit back and relax and I feel supported when I'm hanging off the side of the bike trying to get a good shot. You know? Tara was a little nervous about coming for a test ride on this today because there's no backrest, mm -hmm. but Bob hooked us up. I know, I'm so excited, <laughs> thank you. He hooked us up with the backrest. That was awesome. This was all designed and developed by Indian. Indian has a relationship with 
Polaris, much like Grand Design does with Winnebago. Indian kind of does its own thing, right? Correct. Yeah, they are a separate identity of Polaris. I see a little bit of Victory styling in here. I think maybe there are some Victory engineers on the team. Any idea? Could be. I know they flipped all their resources over to Indian, so I'm sure somewhere in there there's some Victory. They yeah, wanted, they wanted to leave their mark a little bit. And in case you weren't aware, all these bikes are made right here in the USA. Six speed transmission, standard one down, five up. The specs mention something about a clutch assist and a true overdrive. We're not really sure exactly what that means. The clutch is a little easier to operate. There's an assist internal in the engine, still cable driven, but it is a much easier to operate clutch system. The Indians have always felt really good to me on the clutch. So let's talk a little bit about the gizmos and gadgets and His stuff. His favorite on thing. <laughs> One of the things I love about this new layout is you can get to everything, which of course one of the features is a standard cruise control. It's not some, you know, crappy throttle lock kind of thing like I used to have on the old bike. Our Roadmaster does have it and I love it. Is this the same ride command system that's on the new models of the Roadmaster also or is it different for this bike? This is the new updated ride command system. Hmm. One of the best features I like about our Roadmaster and this bike and the Chiefs and everything is this. I'm curious once we get out and ride, how it's gonna feel mm -hmm. with the windscreen being so much further away. It's definitely shorter. Got yeah. a little pass through there. Yeah. I love that. It's like ours in that you have little finger triggers down here to switch through the screens. Now, wasn't there something about the new maps and stuff that really got you excited? Oh yeah. It comes with an optional cellular update, so it can have its own internet connection and the reason for that is this thing does have integrated weather and traffic and it actually overlays it on the display for the map which That's is so really cool, cool. That's really so cool. if you're riding along you can see the rain up ahead you can stop pull over get into our overpass i'd love to actually see that but i hope we don't see it today on a test drive <laughs> we don't want weather's it looking good today. yeah weather's looking good today <laughs> yeah if you choose not to get the integrated or upgrade to that can it tether off your phone for that data no, you do have to have the latest update on the ride command for it okay. to uh, uplink. That's good to know. It's got a USB mm -hmm. down here. And you might be able to keep your phone charged that mm -hmm. way too. Yeah, this is very similar to ours. Ours has the USB up here and I routed it and pinned a cable and, mm -hmm. and have my phone mount so that the cable's always there and I just plug it in and we play our music over USB. But of course it does have Bluetooth also and you can actually just plug it in and just stick your phone right in there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about the sound system. What is stock? The Dark Horse and Limited come with a six and a half inch speaker, 100 watts, and the base model has a little bit smaller speaker, but it's still a 100 watt system as well. But this is the premium sound system right. on the Limited and a Dark Horse. We don't play our music real loud anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually saying, turn that down. Take I'm it. assuming this is like ours and it will adjust the audio. Adjust to the road ride. noise as you ride, yeah. yes. I didn't even know we had that feature. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't noticed that the volume comes up as we go faster or you just kind of, no. it's got the little glove compartments down here, which I like. Locking saddlebags, which is awesome. Little lights underneath. Puddle lights. Yeah, that was another thing That's I saw cool. that was really cool. It's got puddle lights. That's an option, right? That's standard on the Limited mm -hmm. and the Dark Horse. Yeah, so it's got this puddle light that lights up underneath down here when you're parking. So if you're in a dark parking lot, you can actually see where your kickstand is, see where you're parking. That's cool. That's really neat. That's a cool little feature. Mm -hmm. It does have a stronger sounding horn than the previous models. Oh, let's check out the horn. Holy oh cow. my gosh, I even, I even <laughs> knew you were gonna do that and it scared the crap out of me. I like that. He does. I he... do. I give him the engine rev and the horn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> to say, hey. Better than the middle finger. Well, let's, we got a good song though. Let's check out the audio. Go to the good part. I know. I think that's key too, having all the controls for your radio and everything. Even when we're tethered off of our phone, we're playing iTunes, the controls still work over USB or Bluetooth to skip to the next song, to pause it, to play it, the volume, all that stuff. So having that all right here, not having to fumble with your phone, obviously is a good thing. Yeah. So obviously the front of this thing is completely different than anything you've probably ever seen. This is the just standard running lights here. These are more like fog lamps with your main headlight. And I think, is that the high beam also down there? High beam and flash, yeah. Yes. High beam. The full brights, and it's got this little clickable thing so you don't have to go click, 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 click. 
I think that the LED war bonnet on the Indian is awesome. That's new. Yeah, this is all redesigned on ours and all the other models. The face is clear and there's an LED in there. Another big difference between this model and I think all of the other uh, Indian models that have fairings is this is a fixed fairing, so it stays put and the wheel moves inside of it versus the entire fairing moving. Um, I don't know that I really have a preference. I like both. This is actually pretty cool. You think you can feel a difference on the road? A little less wind resistance, a little bit better for longer riding. Oh yeah? Being fixed is better? Yes. Oh, okay. Another big difference in this model are these inverted forks. 48 millimeter inverted forks. It's a lot better for handling and stability. The rebound's a little bit better. It's a high performance setup. I mean, right. it's, it's really cutting edge to put, put this on this bike. And it looks badass. It does. We say badass a lot in this. We do. Got the Brembo brakes. Obviously stopping is very important. Yes. Dual uh, disc brakes in the front and the single on the rear, I'm assuming. Yes. I didn't look, I'm assuming this is a belt drive. Yes. Oh, you know, one thing we didn't talk about up here was the ride system. Now this has a single shock rear suspension. And on this model it is hydraulically adjustable. Yeah. The previous model has been air adjustable. Okay, so this is hydraulic versus air. So I know they have like the ride system on the new Roadmasters, but that's the same idea, but it's air versus hydraulic. Right. Okay. Right. And then you can also adjust the ride characteristics on the screen. With the ride modes for standard sport and touring. Right. And then the rear suspension, you adjust it for two up or single rider. Right. Another reason we have to trade Lucille in for a new Lucille oh, is no. we have to pump up our shock with a pump. <laughs> and I always forget to do it. And then we're driving out of the parking lot and we bought them out. Yeah. It's a true story. Another cool feature of this bike that we honestly don't know a whole lot about, and this is all still real new. Don't worry, we'll put some links in the description <laughs> below if you want to read more about it. Yeah, traction control system. We're not really sure what that means. I read a little bit about it online, and it seems like it's kind of like a standard traction control. It's like control. a smart lean technology, it's right? Smart lean technology ties in with the traction control, the ABS stability, whether you're accelerating or gearing down into the corners. It's state of the art technology. It all ties together for more stability and better riding experience. Yeah. Sounds to me like the Challenger is challenging. <laughs> the motorcycle market. Yeah, obviously as computers get better and smarter, they're going to be controlling more of our ride and stuff, but it's nice to have that. It does also have uh, interlock brakes. Our Indian does have that also. We've never tested it out and we don't want to. No. A little bit about the trim levels. This one is a limited, right? Correct. And the limited has the highway bar and what else? The limited is the most fully loaded from the factory. Highway bars, Link technology, remote locking bags, GPS, huddle lights, and the whole package is standard on limited. On the dark horse, you don't get the highway bars. It's it's an upgraded accessory. Mm -hmm. Really, the only difference between the limited and the dark horse is the limited has the premium chrome finish on the engines and some accents on it that the dark horse wouldn't have. And now the stock version of this MSRP is like a 22, right around 22k. The base model starts at 21.999. Yeah. You might be able to get it down to twenty one nine ninety eight. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't quote but him these, on that. Indian does offer a veteran bonus kind of thing. The hero bonus on all new Indians. Appreciate our veterans and Indian really stands behind that and supports it. That's yeah. awesome. We got that when we bought the seal. If you're like me, you like to buy stuff for it and gussy yes. it up, get some bling on there. Yeah. I did notice that the pinnacle mirrors will work on this as well as they do ours. This comes with floorboards for the driver and pegs for the passenger, but you can get passenger floorboards. You can also upgrade both the front and driver floorboards to the Pinnacle Chrome. They've got two different levels of that. I love the floorboards for me. So currently available, you've got some of the stage one intake and exhaust options. The Chieftain and Roadmaster exhaust will fit on this also. So bam, you've already got some accessory and upgrade Perfect. options. No stage two cams yet, but we you know, think that's probably around the corner. So let's talk a little bit about this particular dealership because I noticed when we were walking in here, and it's actually right over there, is a lifetime warranty. Tell us about that, because that sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> we offer a lifetime paratrain warranty with all new Indians. As long as you own the bike, it stays with you forever. Mm -hmm. Once you're outside of the manufacturer's warranty, uh, something happens with the powertrain, you're covered. If you're out somewhere and you don't have access to an Indian dealership, as long as you go to a licensed motorcycle dealership, 
You've got coverage. Wow. That's really cool. That, that is very cool. That's awesome. There's a couple of stores that's got it. We got a sister store in Bristol, Virginia. They offer it as well. We don't charge for it. We put it on every bike. We expense it to advertising and it's worked very well for us. You guys, awesome. that is awesome. That is obviously a really awesome benefit to purchasing from the Savannah dealership. Mm -hmm. Not going to knock any other dealership. We bought ours in Lakeland. Yeah. But hey, we bought I mean, an extra warranty. It's, a, it's <laughs> worth the trip to come to Savannah. Just, Plus, Savannah just is just really cool. Savannah is very cool. Yeah. We're going to treat you right. <laughs> Everybody here is really super friendly. We're a motorcycle shop for all riders. We're an Indian dealer. That's our brand. That's our franchise. Mm -hmm. But we want to take care of anybody that, that rides. We've had mopeds in the service department put oh, really? tires on them. I mean, yeah. We, yeah. we just want to take care of riders. <laughs> Even mopeds, man. <laughs> <laughs> They have a really good assortment of apparel and stuff too, which is lacking in a lot of the Indian stores. And there's a Hooters right around here too, right? Cross park on. <laughs> you can ride your bike here. You can park your bike, have a bite at Hooters while they work on your paperwork for your trade in. Yeah. For your new challenger. Yeah, that's right. Let's go for a ride. Cool. About time. Do it. A little post-ride analysis. Sweet, man. A couple of times I freaked out a little. <laughs> I gotta get on it a little bit. I didn't get on it nearly as much as I would have if I had been solo. Right, so he's lucky I was with him. Or, I'm, <laughs> or, or not so lucky. Some of the turns freaked me out a little bit and I think maybe it was just because I didn't have the security of the armrests and stuff around me. She but forgot I, what it was like to ride with just a sissy bar. Uh, yeah, and, but I also think that it turns, like it leans more. It, uh, it doesn't lean more, but you're just feeling it more. But that thing corners like it's glued to the ground. It's nice. That it, thing it's was smooth. smooth. It's, it's like butter. It's like riding butter. Like riding butter. <laughs> if you're a rider, you'll understand when you get on a bike and you can just 
give it a slight lean and just a little bit and it just responds, it's, it's nice, it's sweet. Mm -hmm. If we didn't like the full dresser, this. If we didn't need a trunk for our junk, AKA all of our camera gear yeah. that, we, <laughs> that we need to take with us when we ride. Oh yeah, we need all, we need the whole deal. Yeah. But this, if I were, yeah. This, if he was single is what he's trying to say. If I were, if I were single, I would be all over this. <laughs> we are so happy we were able to test drive this thing and to get the scoop from Bob mm -hmm. and for them letting us come here and film. Yeah. Thank you so much to Bob and to Indian Motorcycle of Savannah for and Zach and Chris too. Yeah, here. and all the other guys. Yep. For letting us do a little tour of the Challenger in a test ride. That was so much fun. Don't forget, they service more than just Indians. So if you need some work done on your Harley or whatever. Yep bring here because they're awesome. And while you're here, you can test drive a Challenger. Or you can test drive a Roadmaster like we have. If you've got your significant other that likes to ride with you, I'm telling you what, she's gonna like the Roadmaster. Yes, it's true. But I got used to this thing after just a few minutes and I felt a lot more comfortable. If you liked this format of video where we do kind of a motorcycle tour and ride, let us know. Comment below. Also tell us what bikes you think we would like. Now, we're obviously open to other brands. Harleys, Gold Wings, we'll definitely try can try some of those out. I want to try a slingshot. Those things look super fun. This is true. Not a motorcycle, but still it looks like yeah, a blast. It does. If you guys come here to see Bob and the gang here in Savannah, tell them that you heard about them from us. Mm -hmm. If you mention changing lanes, you'll get a free... Handshake. <laughs> Handshake. <laughs> so please subscribe, click that like button. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook and Go check out our website, changinglanesrv.com, mm -hmm. where we have a lot of other blog posts and information that you're not going to see in our YouTube videos. Bye. So now it's time for wings and the beer. <laughs> yeah. Because we're in the truck. But just so you know, mopeds still don't get the wave. Sorry. Sometimes by accident. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, it's like, oh, oh I, I waved to a scooter. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the turns. Were Hold on. Okay, so the thing is, on some of the turns, this is gonna, this isn't gonna go well for us. Yeah. One more bike leave. So let's sit on it. Sit on it, Patsy. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> nice. Roadmaster. It's gonna be fun working on a motorcycle shop. I think if I didn't do IT and work in a RV, I might work in a motorcycle shop. Okay, focus. Okay. Check us out on Instagram. Oh yeah, I forgot, okay. <laughs>